This is the first in six decades that the president of Cuba is not a Castro. Raul Castro is preparing to resign as the former vice president. Miguel Diaz Canel Bermudas takes his place. Here to discuss what Cuban government changes will look like is Talking Points analyst Peyton May. Peyton, thank you for being here. Thank you. So when we look at how this presidency, future presidency, will change Cuba, what are you expecting? change, especially because um, Diaz-Canel was vice president under Castro, so he's really shadowed the position, basically, mm -hmm. and he's always been close with the Castro family, looked up to Fidel as like a father figure almost, um, but he was born after the revolution, so obviously he knows how they led, he's probably going to follow suit in a lot of their policies. Um, along with that, Raul C Castro is going to take the top position in the Communist Party um, of Cuba, which is the only party that they have in Cuba, so he's not um, leaving his mm -hmm. power like unnoticed, I guess. Mm -hmm. So he's still going to have influence. And in terms of the current state of the Cuban economy, what mm -hmm. sort of complications or challenges do you think that creates uh, for the new president? Yeah, of course. So there's a lot of problems in Cuba right now economically. Um, the dual currency system is causing them a lot of problems. They're trying to move to a single currency system. Along with that, um, the oil supplies from Venezuela is dwindling very slowly, but that's going to happen um, in the future. And then, um, obviously, after Hurricane Irma, there's so much reconstruction going on. And tensions with the U.S. is obviously going to be a problem with them later on. Um, Trump has actually expelled 17 dipl diplomats, um, Cuban diplomats, from Washington, and um, he has tighter, more stringent policies of the embargo. And all of those factors are compounded by the fact that Cuba has never gone through an administrative transition. Mm -hmm. So how do you think this entire situation will play out as they transition? Well, I think this is more of a generational transition for Cuba. Obviously, um, since he was born after the 1959 Fidel's revolution, um, he grew up with the after-revolution. So a lot of the young people of Cuba they do have an aging population in Cuba, but a lot of the young uh, population sees this opportunity of a new president as better opportunities for them. So we'll see what will happen in the future. But I think this is going to be a huge distinction between state and um, political parties. So we'll see what happens with that. Certainly a fundamental shift for a nation that the world will be watching. Yes. Peyton.